Hi everyone, it's Sharon Panero from Eve Organics. Today we're going to answer the question, what is bismuth oxychloride? You see it on most conventional cosmetics and on a lot of the larger brands of mineral cosmetics. Um, you see it in Bare Minerals, you see it in Sheer Cover, you see it in um, Young Blood, you see it in Color Science. an inorganic white pigment that is also an element on the periodic table. Bismuth is naturally occurring but in very small amounts. So they collect it from the refining process of tin, copper, uh, lead, silver, and gold. They take the bismuth and then they have to refine it again to remove any impurities like lead. Then it's chlorinated. After it's chlorinated, it smells terribly of hydrochloric acid and it is then mixed with water and that uh, dissolves the bismuth and it creates the compound bismuth oxychloride. That is what is used in most mineral makeup foundations and a lot of the traditional makeups. So bismuth is one of the most popular fillers in mineral makeup cosmetics. It's found in a lot of the traditional makeup also, but since mineral makeup has a lot less ingredients in it than normal traditional cosmetics do, the quantities used of the bismuth are very high. Many, many women have experienced some, some side effects, um, itching, burning, sensitivity. I'm sure we're all familiar with this. The bismuth made to coat your stomach and absorb stomach acid. Well, bismuth oxychloride does the same thing it absorbs. And let's see what that does when you put something that absorbs so well on your face. Okay, so this is a demo of what would happen to your skin if you used mineral makeup foundation that has bismuth oxychloride in it. The jello is your skin and the white tablet in the center would be a particle of uh, bismuth from your foundation. Now, I'm just wearing it every day like this. If this was bismuth free mineral makeup foundation, this is, it lays on your skin, you wash it off, that's the end of the day. If this particle was bismuth in your foundation, then what would happen if you perspired? What would happen if you cried? What would happen if you got splashed or you went swimming? Um, being that bismuth is absorbent, which is great for your stomach if it's upset, um, isn't so great for the pores on your face. So here is some water for crying or perspiring. Look what happens to the particles that are in your pores. They expand. Now, since bismuth is so absorbent, and that's great for certain things, but when you are prone to cystic acne or you have rosacea, um, that can cause more irritation and sensitivity. So if it goes into the pore and it expands, it can get clogged, it can become um, infected and cause some issues for people who are prone to stuff like that. Material safety data sheet um, put out by the FDA on bismuth does list it as a skin irritant. And the FDA does have control over this uh, ingredient. It states that um, it has to be 98% pure bismuth oxychloride. And there is a certain allowable amount of lead, arsenic, and other uh, contaminants at a very small range uh, allowed in bismuth oxychloride. Not all women have negative side effects from the bismuth in their mineral makeup, but there is an increasing number of women that are switching over to natural mineral makeup and assuming that their switch is a healthier switch. And you have these large companies that are owned by huge conglomerates um, that really don't look into or consider what they put into their mineral makeup. The bismuth quantities in these products are so high that they're causing new allergies for women who have never had allergic reactions to their makeup before. So it's just something to consider when you're looking at an ingredients list before you're buying your mineral makeup. 
So if you are switching over or you have some mineral makeup in your possession and it is um, one of the major brands, take a look at the ingredient list. Um, if they're telling you that it's 100% mineral and there are no chemical additives or anything in there that's not natural, if it has bismuth, it is not 100% mineral or natural. So here at Eve Organics, we've done the research for you. We make safe cosmetics and all of our products are made here for real women by real women. Our mission here is to inform and to educate women on the ingredients in their products. You can choose any company's products, but you need to be informed. Most companies will not tell you what the ingredients are and what they're there for, and if they're even necessary. If you're informed and you're armed with information, you can go read a label and make an educated choice on the products you choose. Thanks for watching this week, and if you like the video, share it with a friend.